We start with a big story out of the North Country. Bordeaux's new and used furniture store in Beekmantown has been burning for hours now. Flames literally from the roof tonight. Fire crews are still working to get this under control. It appears they will be on scene for hours. Local 22's Devin Bates joins us live tonight from Beekmantown with more on just what we know at this hour. Devin? Yeah, Lauren. Well, I did get an update from the chief of the Beekman Town Fire Department as I step aside here and show you the scene around 11 p.m. A very fortunate update. There were no known injuries here in this fire, and that is a miracle in and of itself because what you are looking at here as we cut to video from earlier today is some apartments that are on the side of this building here. Those are apartment buildings, and we are told that people were able to get out safely and they are still battling some fires inside. And again, in my conversation with the Beekman Town Fire Chief, he just talked about how difficult it was to battle this fire. This is, of course, a furniture store, probably one of the worst case scenarios for a large fire like this. He said the roof caved in, and that is when he had to pull firefighters out. They have been battling this thing from the outside, not going in here for the last several hours. You see them up top spraying water down where they can and trying to stop this from spreading to other nearby apartments and houses off to the right from where I'm looking of this furniture store. So again, there is a lot happening here right now. And as you saw from the video earlier, the flames have died down a little bit from around 8 o'clock this evening, but there are still a, there's still a lot of work to be done as we head throughout tonight. And uh, it was fortunate that we were able to get that update from the Beekman Town Fire Chief that there are no injuries here. And tomorrow morning on our newscast, you'll hear more comments from him. And stay tuned because this is, again, a situation that isn't going anywhere anytime soon. Still a very active scene here. Reporting in Beekman Town, Devin Bates, Local 22 News.